finally got my hands on a 2022 Chevy Suburban Z71. These things are selling like wildfire here. This is a pre-order that was pre-ordered about four months ago. They just got it in. As you can see with the Z71, you have the red accented tow hooks as well as the red accented Z71 badging there, as well as a few sp other spots around the exterior and interior. With these nice off-road capable wheels that look really nice and brawny. <clears throat> you have real metal skid plates. Or, excuse me, that one's plastic, but that one's metal right there. So you got that. You don't have a um, front air dam. And you also have a much higher uh, approach and departure angle. And this one does have, so it's 2022, and this does have the 6.2 liter uh, V8 with the 10-speed automatic transmission. Cold start using the remote, which is somewhat unique to the Z71s. It has this ribbed pattern on the back. As you can see the nice tail lights, tail running lights. They're very nice and you have the uh, third brake light up there hidden, which is LED. This does have full LED except for the uh, turn signal there with nice running boards that extend all the way out to the uh, rear seats there. And as you see there, fuel is very low, so we won't be able to let it idle very long. This does have the full LCD uh, screen for the gauge cluster. Sounds really good. So you can change the layout of the screen. It's one of my favorite layouts is the progressive. You can go into the digital. They call this one. And then clean. And then just classic. I personally would go with the uh, progressive. You have almost every single option of it. Actually, every single option available. You have the 360 camera. So going there, very high definition for the price point, especially. You can obviously 360 degree. You can change different camera angles. Change the perimeter alarm. Very nice camera system, as well as this does have the Bose Premium Audio. And then you also have your lane keeping assist, as well as your parking aids you can turn off. Auto start stop you can turn off. Hill descent control you can choose to have it on or off. And then traction control on or off, which I believe you have to hold down to shut off. Yep. Go ahead and turn on the hazards there. As well as the headlights. We'll go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beautiful brand new Suburban. So there it is. All its glory. As you can see the front end, you can definitely tell a uh, Z71 over a uh, just a traditional, you know, LT or LTZ, or excuse me, or Premier. Definitely tell it's a Z71. And since this is the Suburban, it has lots of room in the back, as well as features in the back. We'll go ahead and take a look under the hood real quick. There it is, 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8. This one makes 420 horsepower. And uh, if I remember correctly, 400, 480, 460 to 480 pound feet of torque. trucks are absolutely 
gorgeous. Tons of room in the back. Nice leather seats there. You do that twice to fold the rear seat down and then you can lift up like this. Then you can get back into the third row easier. And then by just using that button there, it'll take the third row up. The C pillar is very large. I will say that. Um, however, it's to be expected from a vehicle of this size. And you can fold down the uh, third row headrests so you can see better. So it does not have the captain's chairs, which are personally, I, I would do the captain's chairs. I think they're it's a lot nicer to have, you know, two seats versus the three, unless you need it. And as you can see, these hold eight people, um, including the driver. And these trucks are extremely, extremely large. Truly are the king of the road. Go ahead and give a few reps now. much, Boyce Chevrolet of Kalkaska, Michigan.